Welcome to Hari Systems. Today we learn how to install Red Hat Linux 7.3 version. This is the Red Hat Linux Enterprise Edition. IBM is recently acquired Red Hat. Now it's showing that Red Hat IBM. For installation of this operating system the system minimum requirements are 6 GB of hard disk space and 2 GB of RAM you can install Red Hat Linux on your desktop or laptop or your server or your workstation at any air with the requirements are meet up let's start the installation procedure here I am choosing for installation platform as my virtual box to install Red Hat Linux creating virtual box for it click next I'm choosing it's in a minimum of the RAM is 2 GB 18.6 Create a virtual hard disk now. Virtual disk image. Dynamically allocation. And uh, choosing in a 20 GB of hard disk space. This is the mission. It's created here. Once you are installing either desktop or laptop or any of the server, you prepare a media of Linux operating system that ISO either DVD or pen drive the USB stick you need to prepare as a bootable drive and put into that uh, either USB plug or if it is DVD or DVD drive and select as a first boot device as that particular drive bootable drive and uh, restart the mission then setup will starts the screen will be displayed like this this is the entry screen of the installation of enterprise linux 7.3 whether it may be virtual box or desktop or laptop or any your server all will shows the same procedure and it will shows this here i am choosing linux installation of install red hat Enterprise Linux 7.3 option and press enter. Is the play mount boot screen is preparing and verifying the mount points and the basic requirements of uh, creations starting the installer for a moment the GUI is screen displaying here welcome to Red Hat Enterprise English English United States and English India I am choosing continue date time zone its default Asia Kalakatta is this ok for me and keyboard layout is English language support is English I am choosing installation source that is the local media I have given a path of uh, the ISO it's automatically defaultly it uh, selecting this is sufficient for me now can if you need source of media if it is stored at local path the location of network path you can specify it it's important concept software selections the minimum installation basic functionality if I am chosen these right side add-on features the environment will install the tools only see different different options are showing here infrastructure server 
if I am installing as a choosing infrastructure server these are the all options will install on the operating system along with these all the tools the services file and print server if I am installing Linux server operating system as file and print server these are the tools basic web server if I am using my web operating system or the my server the Linux the basic web server only it's a, it's work and it's functional as a basic web server then these are the tools are available for basic web server if you need any of the add-on for, uh, for example these are the MariaDB which is advanced for MySQL DB that database are also installed with along with the operating system of uh, the server operating system of Red Hat Enterprise Linux and the PHP support of framework is there Python support framework is there Postgres SQL database client is there web servers and many more development tools are available virtualization host this is the server you are using or supposed to you are planning to install for virtualization host then you can choose the, this option and server with GUI you will get an, a GUI the display of the icons and graphical interface for all the features of operating system like a desktop and uh, icons and terminals everything will be displayed <coughs> such option is available with a server with GUI as a fresher or understanding for the server administration to better choose server with a GUI and here there are options backup server is there DNF server email server FTP file storage hardware monitoring and Java platform here I'm choosing as in a Java platform and uh, the futures of uh, MariaDB database server and Postgres SQL database server two databases are I'm choosing for the reference and development tools such a development environment supports those are sufficient as of now for my installation hypervisor is there virtualization tools are there and many offline virtual machine management also I am choosing performance tools are there to monitoring the server performances I am clicking done it will verify our ISO whether these all the tools are available or not once verification is done it's ready showing that and the installation destination this is a very important task I am prepared for a 20 GB of hard disk space and I am choosing automatically configure my partitions if I choose I will configure the partition we need to configure the partition manually such a if you are plan for it the root partition the boot and home and where and log and the temp you have to specify a particular space of the partition space and swap also you need to prepare a well cleaned partition size and uh, how much I have to plan for it home root boot and uh, swap swap is it's required for double of RAM if my system is having two zero foot eight that is a two GB of RAM it's absolutely the requirement of um, swap partition it's a double of RAM and here I am choosing as a basic installation of all these automatically configure the partition I am choosing and click done kdump is enabled network and host name if you know the network host name you enter the your host name or let it be local domain it can be changed after once the installation is completed and if you are connected with the internet you can enable it
and click done security policy if any policy you can apply or no profile it's okay begin the installation here the root is the super administrator of the Linux operating systems the flavors of the open source operating system it's a uh, similarly the Windows administrator here it is the root is the user of super administrator you have to specify a critical password for for it click done and if you want you create a user or else you can create the user at the later levels I am creating a simple called user called admin or uses any of the username as your wish the packages are installing here it's showing that with my custom collect selections and the default with the operating system packages are 1324 those are taking a few seconds let me take in the sense a few minutes it depends on your system performance and speed of the processor and memory see here the Red Hat Enterprise Linux is now successfully installed and ready for you to use go ahead for click reboot now system will reboot while rebooting you need to unplug that USB stick device or inserted USB that CD-ROM drive the media you need to remove it and it's asking for uh, four to five seconds it will go to the first time booting here this is the first time booting it's showing here we choose an, an operating system with GUI that is the graphic user interface if it is not chosen GUI it won't show that icon of uh, mouse and uh, display of uh, the computer folders and all the things direct straight away it will shows the terminal prompt of uh, it's like a command prompt of windows the information of acceptancy of the license click i accept the agreements subscription manager the system is currently not registered if you have a subscription you can register it and network host name you need to specify or else you go for go with the finish this is the video for the knowledge improvement of knowledge and uh, basic education and uh, to know how to install the Red Hat Linux Enterprise Edition here it's showing that the users administrator and not listed I am looking to login as root user hence I am choosing not listed and I am entering that user of uh, root credentials here
once I enter the user ID and password let's verify of the few seconds once if it is on a first time the GUI screen it's showing that home folder and trash and here it's on a time time frame is showing this is the welcome screen you have to click next and uh, verify the typings English keyboard and connect your online accounts if you want you can click or you can go for skip start using Red Hat Linux enterprises it's showing that this is the Red Hat Enterprise Linux page welcome screen is showing here if you want to any to know the time zones and wallpapers you can explore more here and this is the basic ideology what I will explain about the Linux server and operating system the time frames and all it will shows these are the basic features it will displays here system tools and settings and utilities you can cross check one by one home documents and downloads videos computer browse network this is the sound and this is the shutdown and on off options the wired facility is available here and if you want to go for the terminal mode like command simply right click and open with the terminal and here you will see it's a ls command if I entered these are the documents and folders will be list out the changing directory downloads I'm checking ls list nothing is here this is the freshly installed operating system over here if you know cat or vi editor commands you can go with that vi etc host hosts host name this is the host name if you want to customize your host name and the host IPs and all the things you have to specify over here and save and exit the file for this editor you know how to use VI editor and VI commands to understand to edit any of the Linux files that is used to show what is the file is exactly on here and IP tables are there and administrations are there and for all the video of administration steps what are the configuration of the servers databases and uh, uh, Apache Tomcat web server and each administrations each and every videos will be following for the coming intervals please subscribe to know more update videos and like comment and share and let us know your views for more updates what are coming and updates thank you for watching this video thank you